Euphoria is honestly one of those shows that I've had a bit of a complicated relationship. I can safely say now that this is a really good show, but going throughout it, I wasn't entirely sure about that. It was about halfway through this first season when it started to go in directions that I wasn't sure how they're going to handle, but by the time it ended, I can pretty safely say that they handled most of what they were trying to do really well. The best thing about this show, possibly, is the lead Zendaya. She is fantastic. I have never seen her better at anything. She is brilliant in the show. There are also a myriad of great actors portraying great characters, and that is one of the things this show does excellently, is portray characters. This show is set in high school, and you'll see off the start a bunch of people that look like they're going to be stereotypical characters, the jock, you know, all, all those kinds of people, and then the show makes them characters, and tells you things about them, and shows their actual life and their struggles, and makes them more complicated, and gives them layers and depth, and they did a really good job at that, because all these people feel like characters, there's so many people in the show that just feel like characters, and I don't even know how they managed to show that many in such a short time frame, in just eight episodes, because some shows have a really hard time just showing a few characters in like ten episodes, but this show did a great job with all of those, and I was thoroughly impressed by that. One thing that's very interesting about the show is its tone, because I think what I was kind of expecting with this show is that it would be dark and that it would be depressing, and that is ultimately a little bit what it is, but then it has these, like, a very grounded show is what I was expecting, and that's kind of what I got to an extent, but the show does have elements throughout that are less grounded, that feel a little bit more like they are a script of a TV show. This event happens, this person does this thing to this person, this person discovers this thing. And it's just kind of a matter of how much you can get on board with that, because initially I was expecting this show to really be about, um, you know, Zendaya and her struggles and all that stuff. Uh, the, the lead character is Rue, uh, as played, portrayed by Zendaya, and I was expecting a very rounded show, and that's ultimately what I th think I wanted. So. I came to terms with the fact that that's not entirely what the show is. The show is portraying a number of things. It's portraying love, it's portraying addiction, it's portraying uh, lots of struggles of all sorts of different kinds of teenagers in high school. And I just think it handles that really well because, um, I mean, if you've been a teenager, then you can probably relate to something in this short miniseries, and I did think that it was only going to be eight episodes, but it has been re renewed for a second season, and ultimately, having finished this first season, I am looking forward to that second season, because while I was expecting this to be a very finite show, and it still probably will be, I think there is stuff, places that they can go in that second season. There are things that haven't been totally resolved, and this season does end in a, end in a good place, and ultimately, if this was the last season, and the only season, I would be very satisfied. But I, I am happy to see where the show goes in the future, and this is just kind of one of those shows that really engages me, and just just hooks me in, and just gets me fascinated in everything that's going on. And it, there's a very specific kind of tone or thing that you have to do to be able to really hook me in just the right way, and this show really did that. And it, I can't really describe exactly why, but it did. Also, Rue, the lead character, is just kind of one of those characters that like, when bad stuff happens to them, and, you know, it, it does, um, you just, you just want it to not. You just really want none of that bad stuff to happen to, to the main character, and this is the same with other characters, but primarily Rue, the main character, and just, you just want to hug them, and just keep them from this fictional world, even though it's not real, you just, you just want to hold them, and not let all the horrible things happen to them. And that there are a few characters that, that I feel that way about, and, and Rue is one of them. Overall, I was very impressed by the first season of Euphoria. I didn't really know what to expect going in for sure. It wound up being a mix of what I thought it was going to be and something different entirely. And those elements mixed together rather well, and if you can get on board with slightly less grounded elements as well as more grounded elements, then I think you're going to have a really fun time with this show. I say fun time, it's not a fun show, it is very dour, and if you are not into dark shows, and if you do not want to see graphic sexual content, 
or people's struggles with addiction, then this is not the show for you. Also, this show had a lot of fun playing around with its narrative. There are some really fantastic scenes that could not have come from a more grounded show, and for that reason I am glad this show had less grounded elements. This show is ultimately fantastic and heartbreaking and one of the most engaging shows that I've seen all year. Zendaya gives the best performance that I've seen from her in her career and really brings this first season together. I love the first season and I'm going to give Euphoria Season 1 a rating of 9 out of 10. That rating is totally subject to change, but that's where it sits for me at the moment. Uh, I'm probably going to rewatch that season when I have time, but I still haven't rewatched Game of Thrones season 8 again, so I don't know when I will have time. Um, yeah, if you join me this coming Sunday, I'll have another Doctor Who video. Should be ranking the Cybermen episodes. I've got lots of Doctor Who reviews, TV reviews, Game of Thrones, Black Mirror, all kinds of stuff if you're interested in checking that out. If not, that's totally fine. I just appreciate your time here today. With that said, that's going to do it for today, folks. So, thank you for watching. Take care, and have a lovely week.